Hello and welcome to my very first Adobe Premiere tutorial. Today, you'll learn how to create the orange and teal look in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. We're going to achieve this look using a different method that gives you much better results, especially when it comes to skin tones. You'll learn how to artificially split your video into two channels and then shift them towards teal and orange. The look is fully adjustable, so whether you want something that is light or something that is strong, you'll be able to fine tune it towards your preference. And just to be clear, this is an actual tutorial on how to create the orange and teal look from scratch, not using LUTs. You'll learn a lot from this tutorial, but if you prefer using LUTs, I'll definitely include links to a free orange and teal LUT that you can download. If you want to take your work to the next level, try out some of my Photoshop actions and Lightroom presets at sparklestock.com. There are gigabytes of presets, actions, product mockups, and graphics for you to download. I'm constantly updating your website with new products. Check it out at sparkwithstock.com and use the promo code DENNY for 10% off. Before we start, let me explain something. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of the tone curves. But we're not going to use it for this orange and teal look. We're also not going to be using the Lumetri color wheels. And that's because those tools will not give us what we want. Here's two videos. One's made with the Lumetri color wheels, which you can also replicate with the tone curves by the way. And the other video is what you'll achieve with this tutorial. Both are orange and teal, but they look very different. What's happening with the video on the left is that the colors are being tinted orange or teal depending on how bright it is. With the video on the right, it's not tinting the video based on how bright or dark it is, it's shifting the colors. So if the color is closer to orange, it will shift it towards orange. Same thing with the teals. And to me, this makes more sense. You end up with an actual orange and teal look instead of something that looks like a retro Instagram filter. First, let's start by adding an adjustment layer. In the project panel, right click and choose new item, adjustment layers. Drag and drop this adjustment layer into your timeline. It should be positioned above your video clip. This adjustment layer will be used to hold all of the effects that we're going to add in this tutorial. In case you don't know what channels are, videos are made of three channels, a red, green, and blue channel that when combined forms a color video. We're going to convert the video from 3 channels to 2 channels with the channel mixer effect. In the effects panel, search for the channel mixer effect and drag it to your adjustment layer. Then go into the effects control panel, expand the channel mixer effect, and technically you can't make a video have only 2 channels. So what we're going to do instead is merge the blue and green channels together. To do this, set the green to green and green to blue to 50%. This helps Premiere to recreate the green channel using 50% of the data from the green channel and 50% from the blue channel. We're going to do the same with the blue channel. So set the blue to green and blue to blue to 50%. Here's what the channels look like now. As you can see, the green and blue channel look exactly the same. And as a result, you get this look which is called the two strip look. And that was also one of the earliest forms of color video. Currently we have a red and teal effect and we're getting close. The next step is to shift the reds towards orange. Premiere doesn't have an effect like the hue saturation adjustment in Photoshop where it lets you change the hue according to the color. So instead, we're going to use the change color effect. In the effects panel, search for the change color effect and then drag and drop it to your adjustment layer. Go to the effects control panel and down here you'll find the change color effect. To use this, Select the eyedropper tool and pick a red color. Next, adjust the lightness transform setting to something bright or dark. We're only using this to see what areas are being affected. As you can see, it's not really targeting the reds. It's targeting some of the teals as well. You can play around with the matching tolerance setting, but it's probably not going to work. So to fix this, set the match color mode to using hue. 
This will tell Premiere to match the hue and not the RGB value. For your matching tolerance setting, anything below 100% is fine. I'm just going to set mine to zero. Now that you've successfully targeted the reds, set the lightness back to zero and adjust the hue until your reds become orange. You can increase the saturation to make it easier to see your hue adjustment, but set it back to zero afterwards. This is because it can introduce pixelated artifacts on compressed footage. You'll have a chance to adjust the saturation later with a different adjustment, and it'll give you much better results. If the teal isn't the exact color that you want it to be, you can also create another change color effect for the teals. To do this, add another change color effect to your adjustment layer. Just like before, use the eyedropper tool and select the teal color, and then set the match color mode to using hue. Adjust the hue any way you like. Remember to keep your saturation at zero, because we're going to adjust that later. In some cases, you might want to change the balance of the orange and teal colors in your video clip. For example, if there's too much teal in your video clip, you can add more oranges by shifting the hue. To do this, search for the color balance effect and then add it to your adjustment layer. Drag this effect above your channel mixer effect. And once it's in place, adjust the hue to your preference. If you want to completely reverse the colors, set it to around 180 degrees. Finally, we're going to use the Lumetri color to finalize the look. But for this, do it on a separate layer. So drag another adjustment layer into your timeline and position it as the top layer. With the new adjustment layer selected, go into the effects panel and search for Lumetri color. Add this effect to your adjustment layer. By the way, Lumetri color is only available in Adobe Premiere CC. If you're using Premiere CS6 or older, you can use the color balance and RGB curves instead. Lumetri Color is a powerful color grading tool. It lets you load LUTs, which are files that you can download to color grade your video clips very quickly and easily. There's also a lot of other tonal and color adjustments. In particular, we're going to be using the curves. Expand the curve section, and in the hue saturation curves, add two points to a ring, one in the teal and orange areas. You can drag these points towards the outer circle to increase the saturation or towards the middle to decrease the saturation. So if you want to make the oranges more saturated, drag the orange point towards the outer circle. By the way, if you want a really cool desaturated effect, desaturate the teals by dragging the point towards the center, and then adjust the orange point to your preference. Also keep in mind that we have two layers. You can go into the orange teal adjustment layer and lower the opacity to around 50% or however much you want. This will give you more natural results while still retaining some of the orange tail effect. Finally, I'm going to go back into the Lumetri color effect and play around with the tone curve. I will start off by lifting the blacks which will make the blacks look a little bit gray. Then I'm going to recycle the same point and drag it towards the right to crush the blacks. This reduces the dynamic range in the dark areas and is a great way to hide details and give you that nostalgic lo-fi look. I'll create a slight S-curve for some mid-tone contrast by adding points to the middle and then adding another point in the shadow and dragging it downwards. Whatever color grading you want to do is up to you. All of the effects are here for you to tweak and modify to anything you like. Now that you know how to create this orange teal look from scratch, there's also another way and that is with LUTs. The pros of using LUTs is that it's easier and renders faster. The downside is that it's less flexible and you don't have access to all of the settings. Most of the time though, I gotta admit, it's more practical to use LUTs. But if you want to, for example, control the orange tail balance in different parts of your timeline, then you need to create the effect manually like what we did in this tutorial. I have a bunch of LUTs available for download and it's in the video description below. In the free and pro version, you'll find a standard orange and teal LUT that you can load. I will start off by dealing the current orange and teal adjustment layer since we don't need that anymore. And in the other adjustment layer, go to the Lumetri color effect. There's two areas where you can load the LUT. 
One is in the basic correction and the other one is in the creative section. The one in the basic correction area should only be used to load LUTs that does basic correction for your video, such as converting your video from D-Log to Rec. 709. The one in the creative section is the one that we're going to be using for the orange and teal effect, because it's an effect that should be applied on top of a color corrected video. So in the drop down menu, select browse and open the orange and teal LUT. Again, you can download this LUT for free and the link is in the video description. Once it's loaded, you can see that this LUT has essentially replaced all of the other effects that we made earlier. If you don't see any changes, make sure that the active option is checked. Also, you can adjust the opacity of this LUT with the intensity setting. The LUT will give you a base template for the orange and teal look. Whatever you want to do afterwards is up to you, and you can create so many different orange and teal looks using different settings. Here are some examples of other orange and teal effects created with this technique. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Today, we play with the Lumetree Color Effect, which is an amazing tool. It has so many adjustments in there, like the RGB tone curve, the saturation curve, and so many other adjustments. It's sort of like the Swiss Army knife for color grading inside of Adobe Premiere. Now with that said, I don't know much about Adobe Premiere, so if I made any mistakes in the video, or if you know of a more efficient way of doing things, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.